My name is Asia Sampson and this is the original My Medic My FAK kit and this is the brand new My Medic My FAK kit. Is it better? All right, before we begin, I just wanted to say again that my thoughts and my prayers go out to those who are affected by Hurricane Ian. That's just the reality of living in the state that we're in, where we are constantly a target for hurricanes. You know, two years ago, our town was hit with Hurricane Sally, and to this day, we are still making repairs, still battling it out with insurance companies, and there are damages that are just now showing up from that hurricane, and we weren't even hit nearly as hard as those that were hit by Hurricane Ian. So I know that for them, it's going to be a really long and arduous process to to get back to normal. You know, last month was National Preparedness Month and I was hoping to have had this video released then, but last month just kind of got away from me. I was traveling a lot for work and my medic wasn't able to send me their new My FAK kits because they were selling out. Like they were so popular and they were running really low on inventory, but they were finally able to get me one so we can do an in-depth review. Now I won't be doing a full review on the original one. I did that already. And plus, I don't even think they sell these ones anymore. Just go to my channel, watch that video, video and then come back and watch this video then you'll be able to see the differences between both if you've been thinking about whether or not you should upgrade from the original kit to their newer ones now if you don't even have the original one then just forget that and then let's just focus on this and continue watching this video so let's just get to it First thing you're probably going to notice is the size. There is definitely a huge size difference between the old version and the new version. But I will say that this new version does come in different sizes and I believe there is one that is sized about the same as this. But also consider the fact that both of these are the pro kits, meaning that this is the new pro version that has everything but prior to this design, this was the pro version that had everything. So they did definitely jump up in size going from this pro version to this one. It has the same kind of molly system in the front of both of these. This one is that kind of one type of sheet uh, molly panel with the different slats cut out and you could slip things through there. And then up at the top, you have your Velcro that you could slip things in between there as well. This one is all Velcro in the front and it has the straps going all the way through. So there's not that one sheet type of molly system on here now as far as branding the old one had the my medic logo right at the front it's on a pvc patch you can remove it and put it back wherever you want this one does not have the my medic logo stark like that it's actually embossed in their little strap right here a little bit more discreet it's not popping out at you and then you get your first aid kit cross right here this is not a patch this is actually a clip it is just a little tricky to get out but i like this because it's a lot simpler it tells you that this is a first aid kit without it screaming out at you. They both have these straps on the front, this one and this one. And the reason why that is, is because the back has a detachable Velcro on it. You just take this and then you mount this to a molly panel somewhere in your vehicle. Same situation with this one. You just take this off and then you just basically put this on there and then go ahead and strap it in and that will hold your first aid kit for you. And then what's good is if you need it in a hurry, you don't have to sit there and unclip this from your molly panel in your vehicle. You just basically take that, grab it by the handle right here, you'll be able to peel it off and off you go. Same situation on here, a little bit bigger, but what I like about this, I don't know if you've already seen it, but this can also become a strap for you to carry it around. That's the biggest selling feature. My wife saw this and said, oh, get that kit if you can, because if we go to like theme parks or if we're going hiking, 
we can just carry this with us and we basically have a bag. Now the only thing that I kind of didn't like is that this doesn't have a place for you to tuck it in. It's not a big deal but it would be nice if there was some sort of like pocket here that we can unzip and then kind of stash this inside and have it be out of the way. So for now basically what you would just have to do is kind of fold this in like this and so it'll just kind of sandwich like that. It would be nice if there was like some sort of hideaway pocket for me to stash this into. I really like the clasp on this too, like it just clicks really nicely. Now one small other tiny detail, the old one had these uh, zipper pulls that had the uh, MyMedic logo on it, like a little uh, first aid kit cross. This one does not, it's just basically sealed up. As compared to this one, it might break off. But I, I, I like this. I like the old styling of this. It gave you something to grip onto and kind of open. This one, you can still grab and stuff and it is a, a much more protected than the old version because they, they seal it. That's probably why they did it. These had probably broken off on people and so that's why they decided to go this route. But I do kind of, I miss this little uh, design that was on there. The way these things open is a little bit different. This one has this other strap you have to kind of contend with, which I never really understood. This already has a strap that goes over like this, but once you unclick that and then peel this thing off, you still have another strap you gotta get through and then you can open it. Versus this one, I mean, once you peel it off its backing, you're ready to go. You can go ahead and open up. And I, I don't know if I want to have an extra step of removing something, right? It's just I don't know what this was for. This opens up much different than the new one. The old one opens up long ways. And I won't go through the contents anymore. We did that already. But it does have this little flat pocket that comes out. And you can also unbuckle that and take this around with you if you need it. And then it has some pockets and some straps inside. I liked it, except that it did feel a little squished in here. Like, there was a lot of stuff in here. And you want a first aid kit that has a lot of stuff. I mean, my friend even told me a first aid kit is not going to be useful unless when you open it, it's just bursting at the seams. You want to bring as much as you possibly can in as small of a container as you possibly can. So I like that they compacted everything in here, but the organization was, it was okay. It was fine and it worked for what it was, but when you are out in the field and there was some sort of an emergency and you want to be able to find what you need right away, I think that there's a reason why they upgraded to this newer version so that it's a lot more organized. This one, I like how this opens. When you open this, it opens this way. And there are pockets. It's like a divider, right? So you have everything that you could need and it's a lot easier to find stuff because everything is just out in the open. All right, I'm about to go through the contents of this kit, but before I do, just know that there are a lot of stuff in this kit, so I'm not gonna go through each item to the teeth. It would just make the video way too long. Also understand that I am not a medical professional, although I am surrounded by people who are, who can show me how to use the stuff that's in this kit. Just take what I say with a grain of salt. I would rather urge you to visit mymedic.com. That way you can see what this kit comes with. It'll give you a list of all the items that are in here. And then you can compare it to other kits as well to see what those come with. And then you can decide which kit is right for you. They also have a ton of really short, really well done videos on their website on how to use the items that are in here. So if you're not a medical professional yourself, go on their website, educate yourself, learn how to use this kit. The thing about my medic, what I love about them is their organization. I think that's the one selling feature why a lot of people like the MyMedic kits compared to you just buying a, a first aid kit on Amazon or whatever. They pretty much color code everything for different needs so you know throughout their whole kit there is a color code for every specific thing. So starting at the top pocket right here, you have your gauze, emergency pressure bandage. So if someone's bleeding profusely and you need to wrap them up and basically put pressure on it. And then you have a compressed gauze Z folded. Then over here you have burn shields. So you have all these uh, uh, dressings for different size burns. You have smaller ones, 
and you have larger ones. Quick clot. This I had in my other kit as well. Bleeding control dressing. Yep, so control your, your bleeding. And then you have super skin. I got cut one time and we used super skin and I was walking the narrows and what I didn't want was if there was any bacteria in the water or whatnot because we were wading through it. I got cut from a rock and my wife put super skin on it and it basically held. I walked through that whole thing and water never seeped in. So awesome thing to have that. And then you have super skin again, but in different kind of configurations. So you can have one for your finger, for your elbow, for your joints, anywhere that has a different shape where a regular style bandage uh, shape is not gonna work. You have uh, different sized ones here. And then right below that, you have rapid tourniquets. I don't have this in my other kit. And then you have some nitro gloves. So you need gloves. They put it in a little packet, which I like. So you can just bust it open and use it because in my other kits, even the ones I got on Amazon, the gloves were kind of just stuffed in there. And every time I opened it, gloves were falling out. So I like that they put it in a little kit like this and you can just keep it all right there. All right, moving on to the middle flap. On one side, you have all of your uh, little type of emergency situations that just might need a little bit of treatment. Uh, so for example, like right here, you have a treatment and relief mod, three triple antibiotics, two lip balms, two sunscreens, two sting relief towelettes, uh, one white petrolatum, uh, one, uh, two hydrocortisone itch relief, uh, two oral pain relief, uh, one uh, ammonia towelette, and one chafing cream. So little type of abrasions and things of that nature. And then this one has four antiseptic wipes, four hand sanitizers, and one iodine prep pad. All in these two little kits, and then you get a wash. My uh, friend who is the uh, was the head of ER uh, at our local hospital here, he said these washes are great. I mean you can use this to flush things out of an eye or flush things out of a wound. So super washes are good to have. Matter of fact you may want to get a couple more of these because you, know, you want to be able to wash stuff off and, and super washes are great for that. And then you get this super light stick. This is more for survival emergency type situations. You need to be seen. You got that in there. Medication mod. So so that's in yellow and then here you get four ibuprofens, two uh, APAPs, uh, fever reducers, two aspirins, two dio diotame uh, for diarrhea and nauseousness, two uh, dramamines for motion sickness, we use that a ton when we're out, like on a boat or something, two difens which is allergy relief, two diamode uh, anti-diarrhea and then two cold and flu meds or cold and fever reducers. I have other specific meds that I like to carry so normally I put those in like a little uh, like Ziploc bag and then stuff that in this kit as well. And then you have uh, transcendent 15 grams of glucose. I'm gonna say this, these have busted on people before and it would spill all over their bag and I think that's why they double bagged it this time. I'm sure they've heard from other people that it has spilled. A friend of mine had some of this and it spilled inside his bag. I've had this in my other kits and it hasn't busted on me but just letting you know is probably why they double bagged it. If you don't feel right about that then I could you would just I would just take it out of the kit and put it somewhere else put it in your in your go bag or something and then right here you have another pocket hidden behind all this stuff so you have super skin uh, right here and then you have a uh, survival rescue blanket. Hypothermia is a thing so you don't want to get cold and especially if someone falls in the water or whatever and you need to put something on them to warm them up. That's what this is for. Moving on to the other side. So over here you have everything in blue and this is usually for breathing. Anything that is in blue is usually related to uh, you needing to breathe, right? Because if you can't, if you can't breathe, you can die. You're gonna die. Like that's the number one thing. If someone comes into the ER and they're not breathing, that's usually taken care of before anything. Over here, you have uh, you have your uh, nasal pharyngeal pharyngi airway. Uh, so this is for uh, putting something in someone's nose and I, I believe pumping air into it. Uh, so you have that. I think you get two of those. This contains one. One an NPA size 28 FR, one pocket of lube, one pair of gloves, one hand wipe, and one IFU. And then you have a chest seal. So a four channel vented chest seal. Hello. I've got a question. Yes. I'm looking at my new first aid kit and this thing came with a four channel vented chest seal. <laughs> what is that for? Hush, I'm doing a video. Four channel 
painted chest, chest seal. seal. Yes. I'm presuming that that is for if you get like a puncture wound to your chest and into your lung. All right, if you're like me and you're not in the medical field, I feel like this needs some clarity because I was confused myself. Basically how this works, imagine your lungs. Your lungs sit inside this lung cavity, right? And inside that cavity, your lungs can expand and contract freely. Your diaphragm moves up and down and it contracts and expands your lungs inside that cavity with no problems. Well, imagine if somehow or the other you get punctured in your chest area and that puncture makes its way all the way into that cavity. Well, now you have air entering into that cavity and every time you breathe out and your lungs contract, it's sucking in even more air into that cavity like a vacuum. And eventually the pressure is gonna build up so much inside your cavity that your lungs can no longer expand and then your lungs continue to shrink until you die because you can't breathe. So when you get a puncture somewhere here, you're gonna to need to put one of these. And what this does is it prevents more air from entering that cavity. But the four channel vented means that it allows air to escape the cavity. It, it's basically a one way valve. It stops air from entering the cavity, but allows air to leave the cavity so that your lungs can function as normal once again. And that is why this is important. You have hydration mods. So everything in here is for hydration. Uh, basically, yeah, it looks like what's in here. You have two hydration packets and two water purification tablets. So a survival thing again, you know, you wanna make sure you stay hydrated because you, the body will not last more than a couple of days without water. It can last without food for a while, but it cannot last without water. And then finally, at the very bottom, a CPR shield. You need to give CPR to somebody. You put this on their mouth, you put your mouth on the other side, and then you be able to blow without having contact. And then finally, in the last compartment over here to your right, instant cold pack. Okay, so you basically just move. I don't want to mess with this because normally you're supposed to grab this and start squishing it and it starts to get cold. So somebody gets, hurt or whatever and you need a cold pack there's that so these look like just your regular gauze and this one can form fit right so for a splint basically if you have a something's wrong with your finger or whatever um, this will create a splint for you uh, something small and it basically just wraps I have this in my other kit as well you have elastic bandage right there you have some paracord paracord is always good you need to tie things and whatnot I mean this is good for survival stuff but also for anything medical you're creating a splint or whatnot you might need some paracord and then you have tools a whistle you have a pen light a pair of tweezers a thermometer and five thermometer sheets so here are the thermometer sheets that you put these on the thermometer so that you can continue using it with different people then you have your thermometer here it came out of its case so there you go there's your thermometer this is a light okay and what I like about this and I saw this in the other kit as well you have a pupil gauge so it'll tell you exactly what how dilated their pupils are so you just turn this on and it should there you go so buttons right here a whistle and then you get a pair of tweezers I would and my wife will tell you this as well uh, get the alligator clamps as well my son had something stuck in his ear one time and regular tweezers just wasn't cutting it so she bought alligator grips they're they're basically the same as tweezers but they have teeth at the end that will allow you to grab it a little bit better you can get those on amazon i believe they my medic might have it uh, you can check their website if they do but that's something that i will probably put in this kit later and then right in this back pocket here zips if you have a, a deep cut and you need to close that cut this will allow you to you to do that to kind of close the wound until you can go get stitches uh, so you get two zip devices and then one zip ifu and then here you have a mini wound closure kit uh, mod as well so on here you have one pack of wound closure stripes and one skin glue skin glue is also awesome we also used the skin glue when i got cut and we were wading through the narrows uh, i put skin glue first and then just for safe measure we used that super skin and my wound was protected even when I was wading through that water it, it just leaves a nasty looking thing on your skin for a while though so if you use super skin just know that after it dries it, it kind of looks nasty it looks like uh, like crusted skin but it'll peel off on its own it'll come off on its own once the wound has healed and then finally at the very bottom we have 
uh, Curaplex triangular bandage. So that's that. And you get some uh, uh, safety pins with that as well. I believe this is just adhesive. Like you need to wrap something, you need to tape it up. That's pretty much what this is for. And then you have your shears, regular shears. This should be TSA compliant. This should be okay. I, I've seen people fly with these kind of shears before. So if you need to take this on a plane with you, you should be okay. And that's pretty much that. medic my fak kit almost a complete kit and i say almost because knowing my wife she's going to want to add a couple more specialty items in here they give you the room so that you can put certain things that you might need that is not general use like this is good for general use they give you everything you basically need in the event of an emergency but there might be some other small things that you might want to add yourself and then i also like to put my own or my family's medicines in here that we might need in an emergency like normally i carry my medicines with me but i want to have spares my son for example epipen we have yet to use it thank god but i'm going to put an epipen in here just in case something goes wrong we have an epipen again this is the my fak kit my medic has different kits and this is not gonna have everything they carry i mean if you're really wanting everything they have the recon and this is a backpack this has way more than this stuff has. This is more for, all right, you're a weekender or you know, you're gonna go hike. Definitely a much better upgrade from what they had before. I still like this. I like the compactness of this, but I do like the new look and design of their new one and the fact that it's a lot more functional. You can carry it around with you. You don't have to strap it to a bag. Unlike this one, we have to put it on a backpack or something if you wanna carry it around or stuff it into a backpack. Well. One of us can now carry this around when we're going hiking and then the other person can carry all of our essentials. So I might carry all the essentials, the heavier stuff, and then my wife can just sling this on and we will have our first aid basically covered. The newly designed My Medic My FAK kit. This is the large and for the standard kit, it's $249.95. And for the pro kit, which is what this is, it's $399.95. But if I were you, I would visit their website periodically because they always have sales and you should be able to get one of these at a much more reduced price whenever those sales do happen. These come in a bunch of different colorways. You have black, you have gray, you have orange, you have red, you have coyote, and then you have uh, olive dab green. I actually asked for the coyote, but these things have been selling out so much that the only color they had to send me at the time was black. I know that they've restocked and they have different colors now available, but at the time they were sending it to me, they said, well, all we have is black. Is that cool with you? I'm like, yeah, that's fine. But there are different colors if you want to go and check those out. I really like being sponsored by My Medic. Just the way they organize everything, everything is in its place. Like I, I just love the quality of their products. And I know some people have said, well, they're a little pricier than most, and that's true. And some people have also said, well, you can build your own first aid kit. That's true as well. We've done that before. But if you want to just buy a kit and have everything ready and organized and you don't have to worry about it, this is the way to go. And the fact that my wife and the head of the ER, who's our friend here in town, are impressed by my medic, that tells you something. So I, I couldn't recommend them enough. I reached out to them. They didn't reach out to me. I reached out to them because I really, really like their products. And we have been doing a lot of collaboration videos since then. So thank you to my medic for providing us with all the first aid kits that I've needed. Go check them out. Links are below. I have some uh, affiliate links down there as well. So if you want to help out the channel and you're going to buy one of these anyway, click on one of my links so that I can get a little bit something back. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and also consider supporting us on Patreon so we can continue to make more content like this. And as always, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at 
Baptism Overland. My name is Asia Sampson, and I will see you next time.